Hello everybody, good morning. Welcome to today's video. I wanted to film a get ready with me and sort of update you on what's been going on lately because I've been a little MIA uh, just about a week um, just trying to get my bearings and I'm having my coffee because it is like 9, no oh, it's 10, okay. But anyway, I've been dying to do like an update, get ready with me, haven't done a get ready with me in a long time and I saw this look recently on Instagram. It is so pretty. It is by Ellis Rachel and I bookmarked it because I thought I could do it today. It's so gorgeous. I'm gonna put like my old little twist on it of course but I want to do like a green gold eye. I think that would be really pretty for today even though that's kind of like a fall look but yeah the palette that I want to focus on is the Makeup Revolution Reloaded Iconic Division palette and the mattes in here are so amazing I might have to do a different gold because the shimmers in here are not that great so I might have to pull out my this Judy Time palette that I got at Marshalls there's a really pretty gold in there so I might go for that gold instead of a gold in the Makeup Revolution palette. So we're going to play it today and see what we come up with and update you and all that jazz. So if you want to hang out with me, grab a cup of coffee, then just keep watching. Alright, so I already primed my eyes and let's zoom you in actually. Did I already say I've got my eyes all primed? I think I did. I just did the Benefit Stay Don't Stray and then I set that. And we're going to get into it. For a crease color, I'm going to use um, the Tarte Lip in bloom smarty pants you can see there's a major dip in it i am trying to hit pan on this maybe that will be today probably not my i started my job i think i'm like three weeks into it already which is crazy that it already is three weeks i literally cannot believe it it still feels like i'm brand new there uh well i kind of basically am yeah it's been going really really good um the people there are so nice like I love that about the job. I mean, that really does make or break your job. I feel like if the people are nice, then you're gonna do okay, you know? So that's been going well, and the job is a lot more physical than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. It is way more physical than I thought it was going to be. It's not just standing around waiting for people to come to you, which is normally what a retail job is. But this is like retail and it's administrative work so um, that part I like because again it's not just selling it's not just trying to like get people to buy stuff which is the same thing <laughs> um, but basically I okay so we get like appointments by clients right and during that appointment, a client tells you what they want. Well, ahead of time, they try to do that, and we try to get all the stuff that they want before um, the appointment. That way, it's all set up in the fitting room for them. And then they come in, and they, if it's a different size of a shirt, they'll tell you that you can, like, you can go get the shirt for them or the the shoe for them or whatever. And um, you have to know like where that stuff is so that's been interesting because the store is <clears throat> huge I can't remember if I said this in my my career change video but it is four floors and okay half the time the escalators do not even work so it is annoying as heck to have to run up the escalator because your legs are usually your legs are usually very tired at least mine are. I think I finally found good shoes, which is definitely a good thing, but it's just like crazy how much running around um, I do. I just want to get started with the um, like makeup, so I'm gonna start building some green now. So this is like the transition color here, and I think I want to go like mossy first, so we're gonna do this in this palette.
going to be deepening this up eventually, um, like in the outer corner especially, but for now, this is pretty good. I don't like how this is though. Do you guys see how weird that is there? Let's take some more color here. Um, the other thing about this job is that it is just, <laughs> it's a lot bigger than Charming Charlie. Like, not the actual size of the store, I'm talking like what you actually do. Because, again, it's not just retail. So, we can order stuff for customers and we can either have it sent to them or sent to the store. And that is something that is completely new to me because Charming Charlie doesn't even have an online store. Like, they're rebuilding it, but like... We, it's not used very much so that part about the job it has been definitely a different k kind of thing um, and I think I'm finally starting to like get it which is good because I was a little nervous about that at first like oh god what if I mess it up but so far it's been going good okay what do I want to do next that is the question do I want to do lid shade yeah okay so I am going to go in with the It's Judy Time palette, and we're going to go into that gold, like I said. Did I tell you I picked this up at Marshalls? I did. It is, I blame Sweet Peach Beauty, who I mentioned in my favorite beauty blogger um, video, which I will link below, or on the cards. Um, her pictures are, like, so clear. Oh yeah, this gold is like exactly what I was looking for. I'm not going to put it on the whole lid. I'm going to leave this area for a darker green. And then we're going to build that darker green into the crease too. But yeah, because that's kind of the shape that that person on Instagram, where I'm getting the inspiration. Okay, um, so what was I saying? Yeah, her pictures are so good on Instagram that half the time she convinces me to buy palettes just from her pictures. And not a lot of people do that, like, I follow a lot of people on Instagram, like Trend Mood and everything, and yeah, like, I don't know, those pictures are so commercial, I guess, and like, ad-like, so it's kind of not very convincing to, like, make me buy it but her pictures are so clear oh my god this gold are you guys seeing this right now oh so stunning all right now is where the deeper green is gonna go I think I'm gonna take eh, a mixture I think of these two here this like tealer one and this deeper foresty traditional green so let's do that deeper color in the crease just slightly. Let's try that. No, you know what? I'm gonna take... That was close. <laughs> Did you guys see that? I'm gonna take this brown right here. It's a little bit deeper than the transition color that I used. And... which was not from this palette if you remember. And I'm just gonna try to blend it out. Here. And I think maybe that will do the trick. So she did have a green crease, but I don't think we're going to do that. Then back into the deeper green. I'm starting to like this. This is such a fall look, but whatever. It's kind of like sort of cold. Kind of like a fall day, actually. So, whatever. It works. Yeah, I like the brown in the crease and not the mossy kind of green because it kind of didn't really do it for me, but there's that. 
got makeup wipes right here. side blended out wow I am going to go with that brown and put that in the crease go back in with that deeper color blend and then we'll reapply the gold color as well just so everything is intense but no harsh lines go in with some back fix plus with the pixie color because um, I think it'll brighten everything up got it my brush back fix plus I don't like this pump. Just saying. Oh yeah. Oh my god, that's like a chrome color right now. Oh wow. That was really intense. I didn't see that coming. Wow, that helped a lot. I think she might have used this gold. It looks so similar in the picture. Oh, that is incredible. How much that helps. Additional product on here. I'm just gonna take that brush and run over the crease. Yeah, there we go. All right. So I've been watching 13 Reasons Why. Well, actually, okay. So I finished 13 Reasons Why. I basically watched it in a week. <laughs> um. I had some time off last week to watch it and I've been staying up like really late because I can't stop watching it because you know you just want to like find out what happens next in some shows that is one of them but I have really been enjoying it it is very intense uh, that's the only thing that like is getting to me but I think I'll continue watching it pretty good not super super happy with it but I think once everything comes together I will enjoy it so let's do a brow bone color to do a mixture of since this is the only thing that's really close by actually I'm just gonna do this white color in the tart make believe in your nope this is a in blue palette job um, we were so crazy busy on Saturday we had client after client after client back to back to back to back I didn't get a break until four o'clock but it's just crazy like how fast-paced like it actually can be and I really really like that about it however I will say that when you have dead days there it is dead. It's dead like Charming Charlie dead. Because um, Charming Charlie in the location that I work is very, very dead at times. Um, but it's fine because sometimes that's nice if you've had a busy day and you just want to like breathe a little bit. 
Also, so this is where we're at right now. If you can see better in the lighting. So I really like it actually. Now that everything is blended together, and I am going to use <clears throat> the eyeliner that's in my two of my projects, the Gimlo Girls project, and which actually I need to make a video on that, I think, because that would make a very good video. So hold that thought. It's in my birthday project too, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna zoom you out. One thing about my job now is I think I can wear like pretty much whatever makeup I want. Um, I've been doing kind of like very natural looks but I did do a blue look at work and somebody commented and said they really liked it so I think honestly it's fine as long as like I don't have a meeting or something which I don't really have meetings but if I were to I would probably you know tone it down that day. Uh, but yeah, I think that's really cool so I can get back into wearing like color every day which is really exciting to me because I was getting so sick at school of wearing all the neutral looks in the world. <laughs> Alright, for the face I'm just gonna fast forward it. Uh, actually I'm gonna turn the camera off and come back when I do color on my face. Alright, so I have my face and all that jazz on including my brows. I'm a little bit more awake because I've been drinking a lot more coffee. Rumble. So, for blush, what do I want to use? Also, I really like the eye look now that like the whole face is on. So, always a plus when that happens, right? So, what I want to do for blush is I'm supposed to be using the Tarte palette, you know, for my weekly makeup ba basket, but I don't know. There's so many of the same colors in this palette that makes it a little hard to choose. But actually, maybe I'll use that one right there. It's a nice nude that I think will work with this look. I actually am going to mix it. Those two. Um, I slightly considered decluttering this, but I don't want to anymore. <laughs> like, it was a thought for like two seconds, and then I was like, no, 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 no. What am I thinking? <laughs> Anybody else do that? But... I think I am going to film a declutter because I'm doing a swap with a friend but uh, we're decluttering our stash and I want to show you what I'm decluttering. what highlighter I want to use and this is a lot more pink than nude actually which I'm not really enjoying so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over it with the Laura Geller blush in Honeysuckle because this is nude and this is more of what I think I'm looking for we're gonna blend this out I always recommend blending your brush blush out. Um, it makes it look way more natural, especially if you like to have a heavy hand on blush like I do. I think that's really helpful. So there you go. And let's see, for highlighter, I'm going to take this guy, it's in a project, and this guy, which is also in a project. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Pearl. It's like a white highlight. It's got a pump and everything. Great, great time for the garbage to arrive. But I'm gonna just take it on my finger. That's probably way too much, actually. Let's do that, yeah. One, two, three, dab it in. Actually, we're gonna take a brush to do that. Which brush do I want to use? This one. It's like, it's like a stipple brush by Elf. recording at first 
why does that fear always happen in the middle middle of my videos i don't know and then i'm taking just a little bit more Ooh, that was like a lot a bit more whoops and inner tear duct yeah <laughs> Whoops. I'm not really sure what I was thinking about putting this into a project. Oh, because it's the Somewhere Over the Rainbow project with Rene on Instagram. It's uh, representing of the Tin Man. That's what it was. That was actually a good idea on my part, but not necessarily the product was a good idea for that. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to go over it with a powder to set it. This is the Anastasia Starlight Illuminator. Let me show you. This is like a throwback highlighter, but I am trying to use the crap out of this. And it's just a never ending product. There's nine grams of product in there, which feels like a lot. <laughs> and it's kind of like a squishy-ish product, which is very interesting to me. I'm taking my normal highlighting brush, swirling it in there. I'm trying to center my brush in the middle to try to hit pan there, but we'll see what happens. We're gonna blend this out, don't you worry. But I love the two, the combo of those. That was way too much, as usual. Oh, what did I do? You guys see that? Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Taking a... That was scary. <laughs> Taking a little flat brush and this is gonna go on the inner part. I love this highlighter combo next to green eyeshadow. I'm just gonna drag it up a little bit. Bronzer time. I've been trying to pan. Wow, that highlighter is strong on my nose. Alright, that's okay. We're gonna do it some justice with bronzer. I've been trying to pan the Too Faced bronzer, the full size, because as you guys know, I finished off the um, sample size. So I've been just swirling forever in here and just go for it. I'm not sure I like this bronzer. <laughs> well, actually, like I've used a lot of it, so that's probably why I'm probably sick of it. But I'm so ready to try a new bronzer. OMG! Bronzer is like one of my favorite things to hit pan on and just to use and all that jazz. For last I'm gonna straighten my hair and I'll be back with wow I look real bronzed oh my god <laughs> I feel like this happens in every video where I over bronze uh, okay. all right so this is the finished look I really hope you guys like it I love the turnout and I love the lip that I did. I actually used a ColourPop, ColourPop, ColourPop lip liner in BFF. This is in a project. And so I lined my lips with that and then I used NARS Anita lipstick, which looks like that. And I topped it off with the Too Faced Sweet Peach Gloss, which is in my weekly makeup basket. So that's what we got going on in the lips. And then I also added a gold liner to my lower waterline. I don't know if you can see that, uh, but I love doing gold in the waterline. I think it adds a nice little something. That is the get ready with me. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell to notify you when I upload on your way out and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone!